real quick before I start this video. Nurse Merce, go follow him. What's up, everybody? So I'm kind of just taking a break, sitting here. Uh, I've been studying and watching this football game, um, but mainly studying. And I decided that I wanted to make a video because I'm tired of studying and I'm looking for an excuse to take a break. And so I figured I would make a video on how I study tips, tricks, things that I do to help me get good grades. Um, if you want, if I can figure it out, I'm going to put a link in this video somewhere um, to one of my previous videos showing you the grades that I got last semester so you can see that at least for me it works very effectively to help me get good grades. But I got my little notepad here I'm going to be referring to. Um, so anyway, let's get started. Uh, first thing that I do, or that I don't do, I don't make flashcards. I know that's kind of contrary to what a lot of people do. A lot of people love flashcards. It doesn't work for me. I tried it one semester and it was god awful. <laughs> um, uh, but I mean, hey, it works for some people. You just gotta, I, you know, a lot of people say that you gotta find out what kind of learner you are, um, which I guess is true. I've never done that. I've just kind of did it you know myself but they said there's some kind of test that you can refer to or that you can take and it'll tell you what kind of learner you are but anyway flashcards don't work for me um, unless it's like <sighs> tedious terminology then maybe it's good for memorizing terms and definitions of things but I, I, I typically stay away from them I'm real big on um, PowerPoints you know sometimes our professors give you the PowerPoints or they'll give you like in my anatomy and physiology 2 class we have outlines that are in word document I refer to those and if a professor is going to give you um, their PowerPoints their notes that's mainly what you should focus on then you shouldn't have to stray too far outside of that so I'm real big on those um, also one thing that I like to do is I can kind of get distracted pretty easily when I'm studying so what I like to do is listen to music, but I don't listen to it loud. It's like on the lowest possible volume setting because I can't study with loud music and it can't have any lyrics either. That's just a tidbit, something I do, just instrumental, real low, something to drown out any background noise, you know, maybe a ticking clock or something that can just be distracting. Um, and it kind of just helps me focus on, on what I'm studying. Uh, I'm also big on like diagrams, like pictures in books. If maybe I'm studying on, um, I don't know, how to give uh, an injection or something of that nature, you know, just, just diagrams. I don't know, so something that I can look at and see and refer to as opposed to just words in a book which you could read and maybe you could understand it, but you don't really get that visual. Um, so who knows, if I did take that test, maybe I'm a visual learner. Um, but anyways, I'm big on that. Uh, before nursing school, I was not big on textbooks. Um, me being the idiot that I am, I would buy the textbooks thinking that I would use them, but I never would. I've got a math over there. I've got a massive biology textbook, anatomy and physiology textbook, uh, microbiology, and I just, I've never cracked them. Um, but now that I'm in nursing school, you have to read the textbook and so I'm, I'm reading and as far as that goes now that I'm getting acclimated to studying out of the textbook highlighting highlighting is a big thing um, I know actually Rachel P and I think she said she got the information from nurse Nicole um, gave a tip to read the I guess the summary of the chapter and the first and last sentence of maybe each paragraph or of the entire chapter, I don't know. But I'm kind of sticking to that. That that does seem to help because there is a lot of fluff, a lot of filler, like you have this massive textbook and you could only be you know, quizzed on a few sentences out of each chapter, I don't know. It's just, it's a whole lot of stuff and if you sit there and try and read and memorize it all, you're gonna be unsuccessful first of all. And what you do end up retaining might not even be the information that you needed to focus on to begin with. So, um, so yeah, I would, I would read effectively, focus on, first of all, the information that you're receiving out of lecture so that you can have a more focused reading out of the textbook. You can, you know, okay, well, she mentioned, um, the code of ethics from A and A. 
So whenever you're reading, you come across ANA, anything to do with ANA, anything to do with code of ethics that sounds important, that sounds testable, highlight. Okay. And um, you could even, if you read, if you prefer physical textbooks, you can make notes on the sides of the pages. That way, when you're reading through your textbook, you read the highlighted portion. And if you had made a note, you can read your notes. And that's just an, another tidbit there. Um, the way in which I study, I study for a few hours at a time, maybe two or three um, straight. I do that straight. Um, I, of course, I'll get sidetracked. I'll like look at the TV or something for maybe five minutes. But for the most part, real focused study session for maybe two or three hours. And then I'll take a break, you know, like a 30 minute break. And then maybe I'll go back to it. Maybe I'll call it quits for that day. But that's typically how I do it. Um, it, it seems to work out well for me. I just, that's just how I study better. Um, another big thing is for me now, before last semester, when I was just kind of an okay student, one momento, I would study something. I would study some material. I would study for a test, but I wouldn't study enough. Now, my rule of thumb is to study it until I know it, until until I can almost recite the freaking notes back to you. I want to know it like the back of my hand. That way I know 100% I'm set up for success. Now, of course, you could have a massive amount of material that you need to cover, and then it wouldn't it wouldn't be uh, feasible to do that. But if you can study something to the point where you feel that confident, like I literally know this material, and you're not kind of like winging winging it, so to speak, then you'll be good to go. And that sounds kind of like common sense, but a lot of times we don't do that. At least I didn't. I I wouldn't study it and like. I don't know. I wouldn't spend that amount of time with the material like I needed to. But now that I am, it's it's uh, paying off. Okay, uh, and then the day of the exam, which I think this is really big. Like I said, you study it until you freaking know it. That way, when the day of the exam comes, you don't have to study. What I do is the day of my exam, I wake up, get myself together, whatever go to campus and I'll sit down with my with my notes and I'll review. I'll just briefly, very lightly read over them. It's just, it's not even studying to retain anything. It's just to get that information in my mind again, just to get my brain going, get me focused on my material. Again, I've got the little light music on and um, it's just, it's nothing intense. It's nothing, you know, hardcore, just simply reviewing. And um, after I'm done with that, then I'll listen to whatever music that I like, something motivational more, more times than not, to, just to get me focused, just to get me away from reality because a lot of times I would be like outside of the classroom for 30 minutes waiting for the teacher to come and all the students start coming and congregating and they start talking and spitting off there. Um, they're you know, back and forth studying with one another and you know, I would, there would be times when I would sit there and listen to them and they would be giving the wrong information about what we studied. Like they were gonna get questions on the test wrong because they didn't know it right. And when they would be, I would be listening to them, it would have me second guessing myself, like, did I study that right? So then I have to go look at the information. So I said, forget all that. I just put my music on, sit there, zone out, vibe to my music and focus on what I gotta do and actually visualize it. Visualize taking the test and doing well. And I mean, I've heard people say that before and it sounds corny, but it really does work. You know, um, like I've said before, your, your mental side of things is 90% of the battle. If you can see it and believe it, it will come to fruition. But anyways, that was it. Uh, kind of short, quick, hopefully it was short. I don't know how long this video has been, but uh, random. But that was my two cents on how I study. Take it for what it's worth. Hope it's of some assistance. This is Nurse Bass, soon to be. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.